Hey guys, you're back in the kitchen again today with Gina. I am actually making a new to me recipe today. Um, this recipe comes from Foodlink. Foodlink is um, the one that um, provided the food for the Thanksgiving food boxes. So this is where this recipe comes. Um, it says Foodlink on it. Um, and it's for an autumn squash soup with ginger. Um, I had some, basically I had some pumpkin. And I had those out for um, Thanksgiving. And that, that's over. Almost two cups of onions. Two, te two teaspoons of oil in the pan. Now... I want to get these things cooking. Um, that is going to saute up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and grab my cup of water in here. Cup of water in there. Like I said, two teaspoons roundabout-ish. Um, of oil or two teaspoons rather do I say teaspoons or tablespoons teaspoons um, I've got it says winter squash it says pumpkin can be used um, butternut uh, it's peeled it's seeded and mine was already pre-roasted so it'll decrease the time that I need to do this um, it also calls for some, a tablespoon of lemon juice. I've got my um, apples in with my pumpkin, so I'm going to go ahead and put the lemon juice over there to keep them from oxidizing anymore, just so that they don't get dark. I was a little bit more, cause, but I had a little bit more um, apples as well than what it said. It said two. I put three like smaller ones. But um, anyway, I'm putting stuff back in my fridge. Um, also, we are just going to make this real basic today. It should make a good dinner. Um, I've got my onions sauteing. When they're sauteed, I'll come back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. These um, onions are getting really nice and soft now. Um, I'm going to confess it does call for a half a cup of non-fat yogurt, just regular plain yogurt. I don't have yogurt um, on hand. I will be using just plain milk. Um, at this point, it says to add in your squash. Um, whether it's butternut, acorn squash, uh, pumpkin, any kind of the like hard winter squash type deals, that's what they're they're calling for in here. Um, delicata may work, um, but just a fall type of hard shelled pumpkin. It also calls for couple cloves of garlic so I'm just going to kind of use what's in this jar and call it a day um, and call that a couple cloves I like my food garlicky y'all know that um, and it also calls for two tablespoons of fresh ginger um, I do have this squeezed ginger um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the two tablespoons of that in there. Um, okay. So we are using that good fresh ginger. Um, now, at this point... It says to cook this for about a minute. Um, and I also needed to add my half a teaspoon of thyme. I've got whole thyme leaves here, y'all. 
Um, so, I'm going to just kind of eyeball it and say that's about half a teaspoon. Now, again, they say to let all that cook for about a minute. Um, I guess to just start cooking everything. My pumpkin has, a, again, it has already been roasted. So, my pumpkin is done already. All it's got to do is be heated through. The apples will, um, will of course, need to cook. Um, it did call for pears. It said pears or apples. Um, but I don't have any pears on hand. And I, y'all saw in my food pantry um, Thanksgiving video that I got a bag of apples. Um, and a sweet friend dropped me off some as well. A two pound bag. So I am using the apples that I already had on hand. I'm not going out to buy pears when it says I can use apples. And I've got those. So that's been cooking for roughly about a minute. Now it says to add four cups of um, chicken or vegetable broth. The, uh, these 32 ounce containers, that is four cups. I'm just going to let y'all know. Um, for those of you who um, are new to cooking and haven't done a lot of kitchen measurements before, these are 32 ounce. Are completely four cups. It's the exact right size. I'm also going to take my water here and I'm going to run it through this garlic jar just to try to get out any that was left in there um, now at this point it says it needs to um, cook and simmer 35 to 45 minutes I need to get it back up to a boil and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and get this up to a boil and then I'm going to reduce the heat mine will not need to cook 35 to 45 minutes because as I said my squash is already cooked through um, so it's just a matter of getting the apples actually cooked and this smells good already um, it smells like fall um, I'm trying to use up what I've got um, the pumpkin was from a community garden, um, and a lady I know says, come get some stuff out of here. Um, if you don't, it, we're going to till it under. So I went and got some stuff. So I just thought it better that I cook with it because I will cook with it than to sit there and let it rot in the ground. Um, anyway, I'm going to... Come back when this part of it is cooked all the way through, and I'll show you what it looks like at that point. Also, it calls for it to be pureed or mashed with a potato masher. I will just be using a regular old school um, potato masher. That's how I'm going to get mine. I'm not getting out my blender today to, to puree. This is as good as it gets, folks. Um, so I'll be back with you in just a few minutes when everything is cooked through. Okay, y'all, the stuff has cooked down. It's been about maybe 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, everything is good and cooked through. Um, so I am going to go ahead and mash this stuff up. I'm going to turn the heat off. Um, and add my milk in. I'm not going to garnish individually. What I'm doing is just adding it in and calling it a day. Um, when I cook, I cook the Gina way. I don't cook. I always buy instructions. Um, I just want something that's good and nourishing and feels good to eat comfort food you know that kind of thing um 
Now, am I going to sit here and do this until this stuff is just really super smooth? Probably not. It's probably going to have a bit of chunks still left in it. Um, but mostly it's going to be busted up and stuff so that it's more, um, you know, smaller pieces type deal. Um, this should, you know fill us up like I said we had a couple rolls left to exactly um, from Thanksgiving so we're gonna have a roll each with butter and then we have a little bit of pie so we'll have just a little bit of pie left for um, dessert tonight and that should be what we're gonna have tonight for our dinner um, as always, if you haven't already, click like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below, click the bell icon so you'll get notifications every time I upload, um, and I'll sh kind of show y'all what this is looking like when it's getting more to the broken down stage here in just a minute. Um, I'm just trying to get this as broken down as possible in here. But, again, I'm not getting out a blender to do this. Um, I'm not feeling it today. Um, my back's hurting too bad to stand and do this. Um, God help me. God helps me every day to have the strength I need to do, um, to do what I need to do as far as uh, mandatory to life functions. Um, that's all I can say. It's the good Lord has to take care of me. That's where my hope and my strength lies in. I know not uh, everybody believes in the Lord. I do. Um, and if you don't, that's your prerogative and your choice. Free country. So, I choose... And I'm not going to push, you know, my, my necessarily religious views or whatever on anybody else as long as they don't try to push theirs on me too. Um, but I will tell y'all about my relationship with God because I, all I can do is testify to what it's, he's done in my life. And part of that is giving me the strength to make through every day what I need to do. Um... After two back surgeries, that's just a blessing in itself to be able to get through the day and be standing here um, in the evening to make dinner. Really, it is. It's just one of those things, you know, you just thankful for your count your blessings. Um, but anyway, this is pretty much broken down now. That is what it looks like. It's getting ready to go in the bowls. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks a bunch. If you Again, if you haven't already, click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thanks a bunch, guys. Bye-bye.